Hello everyone and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my lovely survival series. Today it is episode 7. And well, I have just been AFK on top of this lovely mob farm for the last... Oh, I'm already out. For the last... Let's have a look. 40 minutes. 4 hours. Let's just quickly turn that there off. And well, I added some extra chests down below. So... Surely it's not overflowing. Oh, of course, we've got lots and lots of zombies down here. Just let them drown. That should be turning off now. Hopefully. And. Yeah. I was gonna say it shouldn't be should be no way that this is overflowing. What? 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 I don't understand what's happened here. This is barely any stuff in here. That looks like a bad AFK session to me. Because this session will be full. But it looks like there is more. Yeah. Go away, baby zombie. Yeah, that is a bad AFK session. Well, anyway, I've got plenty of storage to store stuff in now. So anyway, today's episode, as stated, was to start work on our lovely pickle farm. But that's going to happen later on in the episode, most likely, because first things first, let's just quickly go into my love mode. I've got myself a little army hat thing here. Oh, turtle shell. First things first, we need to go in and we're going to start collecting ourselves some lovely, um, the, the lovely blaze rods and some lovely enderpearls, because today I want to try and get ready to start locating the end. But also what I'm going to be planning on building today is a lovely extra storage system, aka room for, let's just create about eight of these here. I want to start work on an AFK fishing farm. That's just so I can AFK fish overnight and get ourselves some lovely resources and get ourselves some bows for all you will need to destroy the ender dragon. Or be able to get up there plus get some extra levels in it so we can enchant some other bits and pieces so we can fly up and we'll enchant bits and pieces so we have like a better chance of surviving and all that. So what I need to do is get a couple bits of those there. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I don't need comparators, do I? Let's grab uh, bits of wood as well, I think we need. Come up over here, jump round through here. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to build. I might build over this side, so I'm loading up the iron farm. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of books, get the resources, and I'll be back with you guys very soon. Okay, okay everyone, now it's time to build our lovely farm. So I've got my couple of bits of resources here, and I thought I'm going to build our little storage system going down here. So we've got plenty of room, and it's going to expand down the hill. And so I should be able to load this iron farm up as well so we can get plenty of resources while AFKing here. So it's very simple. All I'm going to do is chuck down a couple chests. And this design has been used by a lot, quite a few people. So simply just go around, add in some chests for storage. I might just add another chest down here. That's out quite far, isn't it? So two, four, six. Ooh, there. I can't. That's quite bad, isn't it? So we just chuck in another little bit of hopper there. So you've got two hoppers there. Go down into your lovely plenty of storage here. Oops. Jeez. And I'm just pretty much going to AFK overnight here as well. Which I do quite a bit. What day am I on currently? Day 189. Yeah, I think my AFK session at that farm might have failed. Because I think my computer might have turned off. Let's just add in that little storage there. And why not add another bit? There's plenty of storage there for a for overnight. So now, oh, let's get up here. 
what you need to do is get your lovely slabs, what you will be standing on, which go up here. You've got your solid blocks that go across here. This, this, this is for your water to be stored in here. Very simple, very easy. And then we chop out that bit there, get in our lovely trip hooks, place down our trip hooks, place them down right there. Then we get ourselves a lovely iron door, which goes right here. I think I might have to double check that I'm doing this design right because I haven't actually built it for a while. Then going up behind, we have our lovely note block with two blocks on top so it's not too loud. And then we have bits of blocks going up either side to make it not loud at all. So we just go up here, place down our block, and that there should work like a charm. This isn't right, is it? No. Let's get rid of that there and place our iron door down by one. I think that's more. That, I think that that looks correct. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check. I'll be back with you guys. But okay, everyone, I managed to get the farm fixed up. So now all we have to do is place our rod and just click away at night time. So all you do is go into your settings and change it so you have. Well, just change your keys around. This rod that I've got, I don't know where I got it from, but it's got a lovely mending on it, so it's never going to break at all. Unless I just randomly start hitting blocks, so I'm going to get some enchanted books on it eventually. Combine it together with an anvil and get some luck of the sea and that put onto it, so it's a lot more efficient at fishing and also a couple of bits of unbreaking as well. There we go, our first ever fish, and I believe that was a puffer fish, which is now down in this chest here. Beautiful, that can stay in there, and I'm going to go ahead and build ourselves a little sort of capsule thing I need to build, I think. So if I'm fishing here, I'm going to need to go up by two. Yeah, it's going to have to be, because the thing is I have to stop these lovely phantoms from getting in here. So I think I'm just have to go across like this here might do it. Because I don't want them to spawn in here at all. So I need to put a solid block above there, I think. An upside down block. And I think I need to have this completely sealed over. So nothing can get... There's no way that it can get in here. In theory, that's what I don't want them to do. I need to put a door here and... Let's go over to an island to start looking. Oh, we've got a door right here. Let's just put that in there and get ourselves a couple buttons. Um... There we go, a lovely way to get in and out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab a boat and head over to some island so we can start murdering some lovely endermen to get some ender pearls. See you in a split second. Okay, people, I've been AFKing for roughly, I'd say, 8 to 10 hours now and well, we've got quite a few levels, that looks pretty good, and the mob farm's been ticking away slowly as well. So first off, I'm going to check that very shortly. I've just been using a mending rod, so it's probably not going to be the best stuff in there. Oh, what is wrong with this? Why aren't you working anymore? That is weird. There's got to be like one in the system somewhere to stop it from working. Um, so I'm miss oops, so I'm missing a few villages over that side, which is weird. I don't know how they would have died. Oh shoot! I don't even know how a zombie or anything could have gotten into this system. Let's say just attacked them from the corner or something. That's just weird. We wouldn't have to fix that up then. We've got villages on this side. Uh, villages here. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix it up. Now let's just check of what we've got and while we've got all these levels I'm gonna get myself some at least decent diamond armor. Because yeah. Oh there's actually a bit of stuff. Is this filled up? Okay, so we've got protect that's good, that's okay. That is an okay book. 
as well. Oh, we've got quite a few good bows that we can use as well. That but that's going to be used for our now fishing rod. We use those to improve our fishing rod as well. You got anything else in here? Power for a bow, fortune, blast protection. That's good. That is a big book. Sweeping edge. It'll be good for like a farm efficiency. A mending book that is really, really good. Because mending, if you guys don't know, it just automatically fixes stuff as soon as you get XP, so I can put that on a decent size, um, decent size pick or something once I get that. We've got quite a few Nautilus shells, so we can make an underwater um, conduit once we get enough supplies to build that. And I think I might cook up enough food to last us quite some a time. Now, with these bows, it's really good because we can go ahead and make some better supplies than that for when we um, when we go to fight the dragon. And I'm going to go ahead probably. Well, I'm going to I might quickly do it now and turn off that farm. And I need to get make myself some lovely improved armor. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to randomly just chuck it into the supply thing anyway. Go away. Um, yeah, I'm just going to find it. Oh, there we go. We've got a lovely chest here. And after that, we're going to do a little time lapse thing of trying to get in the pearls. I need to get a better, um, oops, there's another zombie coming over to me. I need to get myself also a better sword that's got loosing or something on it. So yeah, I'll be back once I make up some new equipment. Okay people, this is what we now look like with our lovely looking gear, and I've got myself a looting one sword, which is, it's not the best to level 30. Th oh, now I know why my gear isn't that good, because I don't even have a level 30 set up on that enchanting table. I might have to get that there fixed shortly. But anyway, we've also got an unbreaking three uh, pickaxe, so I'm about to put that onto another tool. Efficiency three shovel, which is okay. Got it. Improved our mending, uh, mending fishing rod, and I'm going to be getting a few more bows over time as well. So, yeah, I thought I'd just go ahead now and see what our lovely farm had actually been doing if it had been actually working overnight. First off, I think I might go turn it off. I love seeing this thing work. It's such a, it's, it's just amazing. And let's just go flip that there off. And now the farm is now off, and run over and try not to get ourselves killed. I've got feather falling on our boots as well, so it should take a little less damage if we do end up falling somewhere. Whoa, you see that lag spike there, jeez. Now to me it doesn't look like this has been working all night. Well maybe it has, that is a decent amount of stuff in there, isn't it? Has this side here been got stuff put down in it? Not really, but this is pretty much enough supplies to last a very, very long time. Okay, so now let's get right into doing this lovely time-lapse thing, or however I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to do it over at night. When it comes to night time, I just speed up some few clips of me killing endermen. See you guys once I get a few enderpearls. By the way, I've already got... No, I've dropped I've only got seven so far and a few blaze rods, but yeah, I'm going to try and get about 12 for them, I think I need. Or 16. See you guys then. Hope you enjoy the little time lapse video with music, or I might talk over it. Maybe, just maybe. See you then. Okay, people, we are now back after that little time lapse and got ourselves a lovely achievement just there. But I also got myself six lovely ender pills. I thought I did have it um, recording, but for some reason I it just stopped recording. I must have pushed the escape key and then it stopped recording. Still recording. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. And craft ourselves some lovely eyes of ender. And we're going to also get ourselves... I'm pretty sure we've got some around here, eh? Is it enough for a portal, I think? Two. Three. Three. Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to go down and get, get some of the city and I'll be right back. Good morning, people. It is a brand new day in this Minecraft world, and now we are going to look for this lovely end. So what you have to do is get your eyes of enders, and surely everyone should know how to find the end if you've played the game before. And did I? 
Draw a bit of lag there. Okay, so we just head out and we just head in the direction where the eyes of Indigo. Hopefully it's not underneath the water where it's most likely going to be. So you just row a little bit further, chuck one in the air, and see which direction it goes. Okay, I'm going to chuck this into a time lapse since the last time lapse didn't really go that well. And yeah, just me chucking it in the air and finding out where that lovely well end portal is. And hopefully we're about to at least unlock the end portal today. But then in next episode, episode 8, we will be going into the end. And in between now and then I'll be getting resources collected and that sorted for the end. Because, yeah, as I stated, I wanted to be in the end by the end by episode 10. And we're on episode 7 today. And and of course you get the, the end of Pearl's break right now. And okay, hope you guys enjoyed this lovely time lapse. I might talk over it, there might be music, you'll find out in a second. See you once I get to the lovely portal room. Okay, people, just after 12 minutes, we've located the lovely end. Well, the, not the end, I mean the, the dungeon, or whatever you call them. So now we have to do the lovely task of going through and finding which room is the room that we need for the portal. I can hear silverfish in the portals. Yes, here we go, here we go, people, the lovely portal. Um, I'm not sure if I want to kill off these guys or um uh, yeah i'll get rid of the, the spawner okay so now we've done this here let's get rid of this lava so i do not die in here and let's set ourselves up a lovely portal just so i've got something to come in from so get rid of this because it's a good to have a portal set up so you can literally just get round back in here nice and quick if you like, die, when, I, 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 if you die, or when I die, because I'm going to die multiple times. The last time I slayed any dragon was probably a year ago, or just over a year ago, and I killed it with my fist in the end, pretty much, because I lost all my stuff and I was not prepared for it at all. So yeah, it should be quite fun being able to go and kill it again. Should I go in there today? Uh, I'll just get a couple of these chucked in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm going to go and need to get two more ender pearls, and that this should be good. I think. Yeah, let's just go back here. I think I might end it off today. We've located the end portal, people. Next episode, episode eight, we will be going into the end, and we will be killing the ender dragon in the next episode. It should be fun, should be seeing probably, I'm going to guess I'm going to die like 23 times or something like that there. We'll find out how many times I die, and we should be able to get in a light for next episode, but it might be just killing the dragon. So in between now and next episode, I'm going to go and collect some two more Eyes of Ender, and I'm also going to link through this lovely portal here. I might just go Function F3, save, this, save our quads there. I'm going to go through and I'm going to link this portal up to our main portal at the base so we don't have to walk as far. Hopefully it's not too far away to mine. Ooh, it's, it's at least three, four hundred blocks. Okay, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. You can be my new dad.